Hello ladies and gentlemen, Holotide here, and today I'm going to talk about five things that I think Halo Infinite needs from going to be like a middle of the road game to a great game. I don't know how viable some of these things are, we've talked about a couple of them before in previous videos, and speaking of that, I know that 75% of you watching my videos are not subscribed to the channel, so that's weird to me, I don't know why would you watch the videos and not subscribe, but we are grinding away to 15k and I would greatly appreciate it. Also, I'm going to leave a link to my Twitch channel in the description and in the comments. I would also greatly appreciate it if you come hang out with us. It's a lot more fun to actually talk to you all live. But let's get into the video. I think, at number one, a career progression ranking system needs to be implemented in the game. And we've had confirmation that 343 is working on that. So this is viable. This is something that's actually probably most likely going to happen unless they just stop updating the game or move on or something. Now, we don't know what this progression system looks like. They haven't really talked about it. Season 4 is coming up uh, in a couple of weeks, so hopefully it's ready to go for Season 4, even if it's just like a beta model of it. I still think that it's super important. And it's just like one of those extra carrot on the sticks that you can have, you know, whether you're playing multiplayer or campaign or some form of PvE firefight activity. You're going to be earning something towards a rank. Now, I don't know how long it's going to take to hit the final rank or if there's going to be like a prestige option like in Call of Duty. But hopefully there will be like coatings and armor and stuff associated with different levels. One of the things that I get feedback on all the time is like I want more options to earn coatings or armor and everything. And I think that that's an easy way to do it. Number two. I think probably one of the worst issues that the game faces and is a turnoff to a lot of people is the issues with desync and networking. Personally, I haven't had a ton of issues with desync. I know that there are ways that I can make it happen in the game, and that includes like being hit by like a vehicle and stuff like that, and the game just kind of gets all wonky. But really, I hope that they can settle down some of the, the issues with desync because it's very very unenjoyable to play the game when it's just not working. I do know that they are working on that, so this one is also plausible. Um, I don't think that we're ever going to have a perfect networking environment for this game, and really a lot of games suffer from desync and networking issues now anyways, but if they can keep minimizing the amount of issues that people have, and this also I think deals with crashing, if they can make it a more stable game overall, I think that would greatly help it. I think the next two are going to be things that are probably never going to happen with Halo Infinite, but we'll see. I wanted to include them because I think that they offer something unique to the game, especially this first one, and that is assassinations. I know why they're not in the game, but really, you know, even from a competitive standpoint, people talk about, you know, that's like the number one reason why they're not in the game, but you could just disable them in ranked or something. In Halo 5, it was super fun to unlock new ones and use them in the game and stuff. And really, I think that 343 would make bukus of money off of assassinations if they sold them in the store and just had them, like, super extravagant. I really I don't know why, other than, like, all the issues that were facing Infinite, why that assassinations weren't really a priority. But I would love to see them back in the game. The next one is campaign DLC, and honestly, I don't think that we're going to see this. All the leaks and rumors of, you know, the campaign team being cut from uh, 343 and all the layoffs and stuff like that. Uh, I just don't think that's going to happen. We're just going to keep getting narrative multiplayer stuff, and unfortunately, I, like, I really want to see the story continue. It would be nice even if we got, like, a spinoff game like ODST 2 or something, but... I just, I don't foresee this happening, unfortunately. And number five is a Battle Royale. I'm sure a lot of you are going to be mad about that. Now, while I think that Halo Infinite doesn't actually, like, have to have a BR, I just don't think it would hurt at the same time. I'm sure people are going to unsub for that or yell at me in the comments, but it is what it is. My real last thing that I think the game needs is just more maps. I think BTB needs to be fleshed out. There needs to be a ton more maps in the game because... Variety is the spice of life, and to be playing on the same maps over and over and over and over and over and over and, over and, over and to only have had like three or four since the game came out, I think has really hurt the replay ability of the game. But with Forge and the community collection stuff coming in, I think that this is becoming more and more something that they're going to rectify going forward. That's going to do it for the video, ladies and gentlemen. Let me know in the comments down below what your five things that you want to see 
added to the game or fixed that would make the game go from being middle of the road to a great game, a great Halo game. If you enjoyed the video, make sure you leave a like down below. If you're new to the channel, make sure you subscribe, and I'll catch you in the next one. Peace!